Hi everyone, this is Epson Ecotank L3270 and in this video I will show you how to set up this device from scratch, how to connect it to any gadget, how to print, how to scan, in other words I'm gonna show you all the basics. Let's get into it. So this is the initial look of your printer after unboxing and first let's face the back panel. Here you have the power socket so you need to plug the power cable into the socket and also you can see USB port over here but in this video I'm going to show you the wireless connection method because actually USB connection is too simple to explain. It's just plug and play and the software installation process is the same. Now let's power on the printer, just plug into a power outlet and press the power button on the control panel. And what you see now is Wi-Fi indicators next to the Wi-Fi button are blinking and taking turns. So what you need is wait until they calm down and turn off and the power indicator uh, must turn solid. Well, and that's what you need to see on the control panel. Well, that's what you want to see on the control panel and now let me show you how to fill tanks in this printer. My tanks are already filled, I'm just showing you the key points of this process. So this lid right above the tank slot opens very easy, just pull it towards you and here you see four tank covers, you just stick your finger and push it up, it's very easy. So now the tanks are opened and you need to take the container with the inks, open it and here you can see uh, something like uh, the lock combination and if you uh, turn the container upside down nothing pours out because to pour the ink out you need to match the lock combination uh, with the tank so no matter how you hold the container like this or like this uh, once you let the container off the ink will pour out uh, into the tank the main thing here is not mix up the containers and pour right color in the right tank from left to right black yellow magenta and cyan uh, as the tank fills up keep an eye on the ink level and once it reaches the upper mark remove the container from the slot and finally close the tank's covers and slightly push each of them like this and close the lid that's it Next, let's load some paper to the printer. To do this, just open this slit, pull up the paper support rack and let it rest on its back. Now you can see this paper guides, so slide them apart a bit wider than your paper or slide them apart to maximum. Then glide down the paper stack and align it with the paper guides, but don't press on the paper too much. Keep in mind, uh, you can load up to 100 uh, sheets of paper over here. And finally stick your finger from the bottom of the output tray, pull it out, fully extend and the printer is ready to go. Now let's connect it to your devices. First let's connect the printer to your Wi-Fi network and I'm showing you the easiest and fastest method. Uh, first of all press and hold the Wi-Fi button on the control panel until the Wi-Fi indicators start taking turns like this. Now take your rotor, find the WPS button on its body, it's here in my case, and just press it once and wait for about 1.5 minutes and then the upper indicator will turn solid, it means the printer is connected and you can continue on your gadgets. If you don't have physical WPS button on your rotor, apply to your rotor's user manual uh, to find this button in the web interface or smartphone application. So the solid Wi-Fi indicator has appeared and next on your computer make sure you're connected to the same Wi-Fi router or mesh system as your printer. Now you need to add the printer to your printing system. To do this for Windows users click on the start icon, then select settings. In this field start typing printers and select printers and scanners. Click on the blue button add device. Your printer appears here and then click on the white button and device and wait for connection. For Mac users just skip this step, the printer is going to be added automatically and all you need is to install software. Let's wait for connection and proceed to it. Uh, you need to open your web browser to install software and Google search for drivers for Epson L3270. And the first link is Epson support website, so open this link. In this drop-down select your operating system if it's not selected automatically, Windows 11 in my case, uh, then click on go, 
the page refreshes now scroll down and install just only Epson product setup so I'll click on that click on download the file is downloaded click on the file to open it yes in this window just wait for a while well it's updating something actually you can minimize or close your browser now the application is launching first accept the license agreement click on accept and confirm your action this is additional agreements and you can uncheck these checkboxes if you don't want to allow these permissions and then click next make sure the printer is turned on and you finished filling all the in tanks check this checkbox click next and wait for the driver downloading now the app is looking for your printers and you see this window uh, your printer is found uh, and just click on its name then click next and it's downloading the software and uh, making the adjustments automatically this app will make everything for you update firmware install the necessary programs now you can select software to install actually you can install all these programs and later decide which of them you don't need and delete these programs uh, I prefer to uncheck manuals uncheck Epson photo uh, uncheck support utilities and and that's it click on install so the setup is finished and now you can print a test page or, or just click next I will show you how to print later so let's just finish this setup so you can skip the printer registration or re register your printer let me skip this step this is not important for this video uh, click on finish in this window it takes you to some website but actually you don't really need it you can close this if you are a Mac OS user you need just install Epson software updater and when you launch this application it will show you in this window which software is missing for your printer and you just need to click on install and everything is going to be automatically also it's pretty easy to use this printer with any smartphone you just need to install Epson smart panel application it's available for iOS and Android devices so uh, tap on open once installed and make sure your smartphone is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your printer and then agree to the terms and conditions tap OK in this window to agree uh, next you need to give the permissions to the application to use your location while using app next to find devices on local networks allow this and once you see your printer's model tap on its name and connection is complete just tap on ok you don't have to install anything else you just need to select the application interface use cards or use tiles personally I prefer tiles so let's use tiles and as you can see you're using the latest firmware so you don't have to update everything if you will see uh, the update button over here just tap on that it will update everything out automatically and now you can use the features of this application print scan document capture or copy but printing and scanning from a computer are still more common while the printing settings are the same on a computer and mobile devices so let me show these features here uh, let's say you want to print a document from Adobe Acrobat a PDF document so what you need is uh, open menu and select print or just hit, hit ctrl P key combination on your keyboard now adjust your settings first of all make sure your printer is selected in this drop down otherwise select your printer uh, how many copies do you wish to make uh, in this window you can set which pages of this document do you wish to print let's say we wish to print one or pages from one to two uh, in this window you select the fitting and orientation I won't go deep into these settings just experiment with the settings yourself according to your preferences uh, next select your orientation you can select auto portrait or landscape 
like this but portrait is okay for us also you can click on properties next to your printer name and enter the printers settings here you can uh, select your paper size select one of printing presets over here we also want to go deep into this settings uh, you have to uh, deal with it yourself because otherwise the video is going to be too long you have, have more options here you have the printer maintenance uh, option uh, so once you're done with your settings click on ok and then print and wait for printer to do its job to scan documents on your computer same as on smartphone you need to have a scanning application and on the printer setup we've installed epson scan smart the native application uh, let's open it let me briefly walk you through the settings. In this window, you can just only change the scanner if you have few scanners and set the paper size. If you need more settings, go to this gear. Uh, the scan settings goes first. You can switch between auto, photo and document mode and customize the document mode. So here you can select the document source, but in this case, only one option. You can set the document size, image type, resolution up to 1200 dpi rotate your document automatically or manually uh, you can correct document skew you can uh, adjust some advanced settings but i'm not gonna work through all of them uh, also you can save preset over here and use the presets uh, later uh, don't forget to save your settings also you can enable photo enhancements customize actions you can perform after the scanning uh, set default file name in these fields uh, adjust save settings for pdf and image formats but also experiment with these settings and adjust according to your needs uh, and other settings send usage information to epson you can switch it on or off so let's close uh, the settings and now let's scan uh, you need to place the document correctly on the scanning surface to do this open the lid and put your document facing down and make sure the top left corner of your document is aligned with the bottom right corner of the scanning surface you have this arrow here so you need to fit the document like this fit snugly to the borders uh, also you can check your paper size using this marker over here and close delete and now just click on scan wait for the result in this window so uh, right away you can add the next page to your document uh, you can adjust settings for each page separately so uh, customize settings for each page and for example combine color and gray grayscale documents uh, now just uh, replace the document on the scanning surface place the next page place it correctly and click on scan one more time now you have two pages in your document you can drag and drop to change order of the pages you can delete each page just select and delete you can rotate pages you can crop pages to crop just drag this control elements to feed the document into preferred size and click on ok confirm the actions uh, it can be undone remember this you have to rescan this document once you save the changes and if you don't like it and once you're done scanning just click on next and select one of these actions uh, for this example let's just save the document save as pdf let's keep the default name but you can rename it if you need and also you can change the folder i will keep it in my documents just click on save it's processing and it automatically opens your folder and shows you this document location and for advanced scanning features like uh, document markup editing and so on uh, you need to use another application third-party applications probably some of the will will be paid uh, but I'm sure you will find something for your needs and that's pretty it guys now you know all the basics to connect this printer to any gadget and start using it if you have any questions leave a comment below if you like this video if this was helpful consider to subscribe to our channel hit the like button to support us and see you in the next videos be awesome bye guys